everyone and welcome once again to another video of the print exp software today i want to take you guys across into the settings and we're going to discuss eclosion settings now eclosion is just another word for quality i guess and um, some manufacturers they use that super fancy term to discuss how much color intensity you want in your machine when it prints and um, that's something that obviously you can also change in the display of the machine, but it's better to do it from here uh, because you can actually save it as you make these changes. So eclosion setting, you'll find it right here under settings. And um, normally uh, you're gonna have a, a lot of different options that you can choose from. And I always like to basically uh, tell customers, you know, do you really need to run on anything higher than normal. And everyone says, well, I want my prints to be as bright as possible. Well, obviously we all do. But, you know, when the file is created in Illustrator or Corel or Photoshop or Canva, you know, some of these programs have the ability for you to boost up the color intensity and the vividness and the quality. Um, so I don't like relying on the software of the machine to basically compensate for that. So what you need to do and I would encourage you to do uh, is try to get your art department or your customer's art department to submit the file in the intensity that they want because the machine is only going to print what you feed it. So if your file is dull and it's not bright, it's not in the intensity that you want, you can make the machine do uh, what it can't do. So you're just over extending yourself here by going uh, deep and super and uh you know it might work in some cases in other cases you may have a color shift and that's also not a good thing so um ideally let's just go back to basics and fix the artwork before we bring it here but let's say that we prefer to run everything on a little bit of a boost of color well normal would definitely not be the setting definitely not light so we're going to go to depth which is basically a word for deep so you want a deeper color and that would be probably my choice my go-to choice is always going to be deep i like to run the machines on deep super uh yeah well super is a lot more intense coloring than deep but now you're running the risk that i was mentioning before where the colors could now shift so a dark brown could literally become black a navy could become black because you're just um depositing way too much ink and and let me explain a little bit about what the quality here control setting is going to do it's basically the amount of passes that the ink is dep being deposited so the more passes the deeper i guess the color is then the slower the machine is going to print so if your machine is printing an average of let's say a yard every five minutes and uh, you're happy with that up for, for performance, right? Um, you go to deep, you're now adding a couple of minutes to that yard. And if you go to super, you're probably doubling your time. So instead of five minutes, you're all the way up to 10 minutes or maybe 11 minutes for a yard. It depends on the machine that you have, obviously, depending on your whether it's a 24 or a 12 inch machine, those times are approximate. But just to give you an idea, you start out with a five minute per print, per per yard, I guess we could say. Um, and, and as we increase that quality, we're, we're adding minutes to that production line. So keep that in mind because nothing beats having the right file brought in instead of just trying to compensate by using um, these other tricks over here. So again, my go-to setting definitely is normal. Uh, deep is one that we always use because customers like their colors to come out good. Uh, underneath there is type. Um, always stay with the strong A. Um, a lot of customers are not sure what that is and what the difference is on those three. Um, the, the strong A is what the factory recommends, which basically creates a pattern that if you are in fact printing with any sort of um, half tones or anything like that, um, it, it will give you a um, it won't give you a line where basically if the dots begin to line up, then you'll, you'll, you'll a line will appear. And that's basically just eliminating that visual thing that, that could happen. It's not a physical thing. It's just a visual thing that uh, the human eye picks up. So we just want to, we just want to create a pattern 
that eliminates that that the eye could pick up. So strong A, deep or normal, those are the two best. And I would uh, encourage you guys to obviously uh, look at our Photoshop videos to discuss how to increase the vividness and how to increase um, the quality of your colors in your files before you bring them to print. So that's everything for me. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and I uh, look forward to uh, discussing more about this uh, this program.